everyone, my name's Allie, and this is my class site that I've made, Miss Arsenault's class site. Um, this page is the home page. Right here, it gives just a little summary of what can be found on the website. Um, down below, it shows the tech blog link, the contact link, and the latest revision. We're going to come back and look at the tech blog in a little while. Up here, it shows the different things that are on the website. So if you click on About Miss Arsenault, it is a biography page. And it's just three paragraphs, um, a little bit about me and my background in education, and just a little bit of information on what I like to do and enjoy. And then there's also a picture of me included. Right here is the resources page, so we can click on here. Um, on this page, parents and students can find resources to practice skills that are being taught in the classroom. Um, I have it linked down below to where you can just click on them and it will pull up websites and resources for that particular subject area. So you can click on games. And it'll bring you to some links for different games. If we go back to it, we have language arts. We can click on that. Here's some language arts resources. Going back to it, we have math, science, social studies, and Web 2.0 tools. Web 2.0 tools are tools that will be used in the classroom that make teaching different topics a little bit easier. Some of these tools are Google Docs, which is kind of like Microsoft Word, but Google's version. And then they also have um, Google Slides, which is kind of like Microsoft PowerPoint, but again, Google's version. We also have up here tech projects, which are projects that were completed this semester in my technology class for education. So if we click here on tech projects, it will bring you up to this page. Um, it has two Google Slides presentations that I created, one on mammals, and you can click through here. And it shows the different mammals with a little description or a fun fact about them. And then we also have the digital scavenger hunt, which I did lines at LSU. And again, you can click through and it'll show different lines with a picture and a little question. Um, the next thing under tech projects we can click on is Apple teacher certification. These right here are the badges that I earned for my Apple teacher certification. These are the eight badges for iPad and the eight badges for Mac. So I completed both of these, all eight on each of them, which means that I'm an Apple certified teacher. Next, we can go to digital story. Um, I did my digital story on Louisiana state symbols and this is embedded onto the page from YouTube and we can click it and it'll start to play the um, digital story that I created. Louisiana's first state capital was New Orleans. Next, we have the mobile app review. I did my mobile app review on Plickers, which is an educational app to view your students' responses in a quick manner. I did a little Google Slides presentation on it. So again, you can click through here and see the um, different information that I wrote about the app. So let's go back up to Tech Projects and we're gonna go to PLN, PLE. This is the Personal Learning Network and Personal Learning Environments page. At the top you can see I have a definition of each of the words with a picture that kind of describes what those words mean. And then down here I have my Professional Learning Network chart that I've created on blogs, curation tools, microblogs, and webinars. Um, I've listed a definition of each of those words here and all the way down. I've given examples of each of those words, which you can click on and it will bring you to those different pages. 
and I've also written reflections on each of them. For example, on blogs, I wrote a, a reflection on connected teaching and learning blog, and you can click here where it says read my complete reflection. You can click on it, and it'll bring you to the reflection that I've written on it. You can also go down. I did a review on Digo, so you can click on it. It'll bring you to the website. And you can read my, um, you can view my personal Digo here. It brings you up to mine. And you can read my complete reflection on the, um, on Digo right here is my reflection. Um, then microblogs. I did my microblog on Twitter. So this will bring you up to Twitter. And right here is where you can go to view the reflection on Twitter. I did a Twitter review on Edutopia. And this is my review. Alright, next we're going to go here, screencast. What I'm doing right now is my screencast. So once I'm finished with this, I'll embed this video onto the website and it'll be right here. Lastly, we have the website evaluation. I did my website evaluation on pre-kinders, which is a website for preschool, pre-K, and kindergarten classrooms mainly. And it gives, oops, sorry, and it gives um really good resources to use in those classrooms. Um, it's a free website, no membership is required, and there's tons of materials to use. This is the review I did on it. This is the PDF review right here. All right. Now, this is my choice page that I chose. I did a reading picks list, and I've listed three of my favorite books for each grade level that I may be teaching. Pre-K, kindergarten, first grade, second grade, and third grade. Now, like I said in the beginning, on the bottom, you can click the link to my tech blog. So we're going to click that. And this is my tech blog, Technology in the Classroom in 2018. Um, you can see over here I have four posts. So we can go through February 2018. This is a biography post about me and kind of what I expected to get out of the class. And there's my picture. I did a post on copyright, fair use, and permissible amounts. Um, I defined those words and gave examples of what is and is not allowed when it comes to copyright. And then, let's see. I have a post on wikis in the classroom, talking about wikis, what they're used for, and how they're beneficial in a classroom. And then I have a post on digital stories on Louisiana State Symbols, which was also on my website. And again, you can click on here, and it will start playing the video. On the side here, we have some RSS feeds on... Let's see, this one is on technology, and the one down here is on education. Um, so that's that. We can X off the here. And also, on the bottom of the screen, it shows contact. If you click on that, it'll be a direct link to my email to where you can email me with any questions or concerns. So we're going to X off of that. So this is my website, and I hope you enjoy it.